this week's show, Jeff Johnson gets the opportunity to learn all about Carefree of Colorado RV awnings at the RV Industry Trade Show in Louisville, Kentucky. And even if you don't own an RV, you can still start making plans to enjoy an RV vacation this summer as we look at renting an RV. Also, we keep getting a lot of emails on this great campfire tool, so if you missed the original story a while back, Jeff shows us all about the fire stick. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Rolling On TV is brought to you by Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. Closed and Spanish captioning where available is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. Let's catch up with Jeff and our new sponsor, Carefree of Colorado, at their booth at the Louisville Show and learn how Carefree has modernized and improved their Freedom Mechanical awning. We're here with Kevin Jastrom. He's the aftermarket sales manager for uh, Care Carefree Colorado. Carefree, of course, is one of our new sponsors. And Kevin, what uh, what can you tell me about your aftermarket products? What's new this year, or what uh, what's the, what the latest for the awning aftermarket part of the business? Well, along with a lot of the uh, support and products that we put on OEM on the uh, manufacturers' units, we have a, a large aftermarket presence too. We have several products. Uh, this one up here is our premium canopy. Mm -hmm. So this canopy here is. Um, a heavier type of vinyl and mm. also comes with a 10-year warranty. Oh, okay. It's also sewn with Gortonera thread. So these seams here are not your traditional thread. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's a lot stronger than your typical threads and uh, it won't deteriorate in weather over time. Oh, so it has ultraviolet resistance for sun and Absolutely. so forth? Absolutely. Okay. Yep. And uh, it's got an antimicrobial uh, oh, embedded okay. um, product in the yeah, fabric uh, itself. In Oregon where I live we see uh, a lot of older awnings that have a, they look like a little miniature garden sometimes. Yes, with yes, the, this yeah. will uh, help prevent that. Oh, okay. And as Very I mentioned cool. it's warranted up to 10 years. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And and generally speaking, what's what's the latest on your on your awning fabric technology? Other than the, the I mean, is well, there, over the years there, it's changed quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it's a laminated process for the vinyls, and then we also have acrylic fabrics, which is a woven canopy, a little bit more expensive, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit flashier. So um, that's is that an is that standard on these, or is that an option on the aftermarket it's side? An, it's an option. Okay. Um, just like this one here, this would be an upgrade to a traditional vinyl, uh, which is a little bit more lightweight. Mm -hmm. But this one here, um, as I mentioned, the 10-year warranty, mm -hmm. uh, it has uh, also a special design to it. Mm -hmm. So uh, it has the, the, the prominent oh. stripes underneath oh, that oh, you the, really the can't see from design. here. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a plain Jane uh, canopy. Okay. The other thing that we do with this is we fold the hems on this twice. So it's not just a fold over and mm -hmm. double stitch, we fold it over twice. It's called a felled hem. Mm -hmm. uh, and then that's what finishes off the look of this canopy. Okay, and I've, everybody in the business, of course, has used this type of awning yep, for decades. Yep, it's a decade. traditional spring-loaded awning. And, but, but looking at this one, it's not hard to tell. First of all, it's, 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 it's painted instead of anodized aluminum. Correct. Now, has that been going on for a long time? or is Yes, it, is several it painted years. Uh, okay. uh, it's powder-coated paint, so okay. it, uh, it lasts more durable. But over on this side over here, okay. you can see some of the features are in our. I see. They're in our yeah. um, signature orange, carefree orange. Okay. This is a new product this year. This is called the Fiesta HD hardware. Mm. It's a heavy duty type of hardware. Instead of kind of going lighter weight yeah. and um, more flimsy, mm. we're actually trying to make things heavier and more durable. Yeah, more flimsy very rarely goes over well. Absolutely, so, yeah. and, the, and the public has been talking more and more about why things are getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Mm. We want to make things more robust. Mm. So on this product for several years, uh, we've had plastic components on it for mm. our storage locks, mm. our remote lock, which allows you to unlock the roller without having to use a wand. Yeah. And that's built right into the arm. 
And then also our canopy clamps oh, that okay. swing yeah, out rigs, and yeah. actually attach to the canopy yeah. to stop it from flopping in the wind. All, right. All those are now on the HD hardware mm -hmm. uh, metal um, components. Oh, okay. Along with every rivet that's on this uh, is uh, stainless steel. Oh, stainless, that's nice. Yep, so it's much more durable and lasts a lot longer. Yeah. Uh, instead of a traditional one or two year warranty, we have a five year warranty on this hardware. Wow, nice. The other thing that's nice about these components is they're well, retrofittable to existing uh, carefree hardware. Oh, okay. So and if you have one of those older versions, mm -hmm. you can turn it into HD hardware. Yeah, well the color really, it's, you know, it's a small detail, but it adds a very nice touch. It gives it a pop. It gives yeah. it a pop, Yeah, absolutely. And um, what is the made in the USA status of, you, of, the, of your equipment here? Is most of it manufactured here? Or? Yep, yep. Uh, most of our products are made in the USA. Uh, we have some uh, components that might come from overseas, mm -hmm. but everything is assembled in uh, Carefree of Colorado and Broomfield. Okay, very cool. Well, that's important. You know, yeah. that, that's good to know that. It is, it is. We have uh, several employees that are working hard every day in, uh, on two shifts. Awning is a primary part of your business, but I understand you have some other components and things that you sell Absolutely. As well. Our number one priority is definitely making awnings, mm -hmm. uh, making shade. So mm -hmm. uh, on, on top of that, we also do several accessories. Mm -hmm. So just like these patio awnings you see here, we also have awnings that cover the slide outs. Mm -hmm. We also can retrofit or change over a manual style awning to power uh, oh, just by changing this? out the arm set. Now you mean this kind of this, this this type of an awning can become a powered awning? Absolutely. You wow. can retain your fabric and your roller assembly mm -hmm. and just basically change out the arms themselves oh, to okay. push button operation. Oh wow. Very and then cool. above and beyond that, we have shades that you can kind of slide into the free slot that's in the oh, roller okay. tube that hang down and block the sun mm -hmm. for the early morning or late afternoon where the sun mm -hmm. isn't directly overhead. Okay. We have ground mats that we, we lay down underneath the awning, mm -hmm. uh, along with side blockers. Uh, uh, we can you mean also- side, You mean uh, something on the- On position? the sides, oh, okay. yeah, that yeah. will suspend on the side of the awning oh, okay. uh, to block the sun coming from uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, the sides of the, of the coach. Oh, okay. um, and then last but not least, we also have rooms. We have a full room enclosure that can attach to these uh, oh, okay. awnings, wow. whether it's a uh, powered awning mm -hmm. or a manual awning. Mm -hmm. We have a room enclosure to help expand the living space of the RV. Oh, okay. Wow, very cool. That's nice. And uh, I'm sure that the uh, the mats are something that mom will appreciate when the kids are running in and Absolutely. out. Absolutely. We have several shed, colors a little bit sizes. of their dirt out there. So Yeah, keep the dirt outside instead yeah. of bring it into the RV. Yeah. yeah. And then last but not least, we have window awnings mm -hmm. that actually can finish up the look on the different types of uh, windows, oh, okay. all shapes and sizes. Oh, okay. And then... Um, those on the, the window awnings and the slide slide out toppers, whatever they're called. We call them companion awnings. Companion, okay. Uh, those in addition to OEM, of course, are also available on the aftermarket. Absolutely, there's a yeah. large opportunity uh, to add those to your coach. A lot of coaches come with their main patio awning. Mm -hmm. So when you actually get that thing off the lot, you look at your windows. You notice that you got sun coming in uh, your kitchen window, and you're trying to do the dishes or yeah. you're cooking a meal. We have window awnings that can cover that and block that sun from coming in. Okay, very cool. Very and the slide out products, those ones are really neat because if you're at a campground where you have leaves dropping and you're in the fall, mm. you got to get up there and kind of sweep those things off mm. uh, before you close the room. Because if you drag in sticks, leaves, and branches, you can actually hurt the seals yeah, of that sure. slide room. Mm -hmm. So the slide out cover will actually cover the top of it with a piece of vinyl mm. and it slides automatically in and out with the unit, so there's no nothing that you need to do. And you never have to get up there and sweep anything. Wow, very cool. Well, that sounds like a convenient feature. It I is mean, a very convenient feature. I mean, feature. Uh, slide outs are, they're, they're standard almost now Absolutely. all over the place. And so, you can have uh, up to five on a, on a certain coach. Yeah, five, wow. So that's five yeah. times going up a ladder. Yeah, that's five this year. <laughs> By next year, Louisville here at the show, six. Could be more, yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> And you're in uh, Broomfield, Colorado, so uh, yeah. Uh, that's uh, where we can we can come by there and take a look. Absolutely, and see we invite you, you to come down yeah. and uh, come over to uh, Colorado, and we'll give you a tour and show you how things are done. Okay, great. We'll do that. Excellent. Well, thank you, Kevin. Appreciate thank you. It. We took up Carefree's offer to visit their factory, and we're floored to learn they make between 1,500 and 2,000 awnings a week. Watch for this inside Carefree story coming soon. Simply put, Thetford's AquaCam has outsold all its competitors combined, 
because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaCam, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaCam, another great product from Thetford. We didn't make the majestic mountains or the rugged terrain or paint the night sky, but we make it possible to see it all. Road Trek, America's number one selling touring coach for over 25 years. Built with quality so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the destinations you want. Enjoy the peace of mind that only a Road Trek can provide. Looking to take an RV vacation but don't own one? or looking to buy an RV but want to test coexisting with your spouse in a small space for a week, then renting an RV is a great option. But there's a lot more to know and a lot more to consider in renting an RV as opposed to just renting a car. But once you learn the ins and outs and get out on that first RV adventure, you'll soon be saying, why didn't we do this earlier? To find out more about renting an RV, we paid a visit to 4RV Rental and Sales in Boylston, Massachusetts, a family-owned company that's been renting RVs for over 30 years. Here you can rent anything from a small camping trailer to a large Class A motorhome. We had a chance to sit and talk with Sherry Fuller for a little question and answer session on renting RVs. Okay, it's time for class. One of the things I was curious about was if most RV renters are first time renters. A lot of your, your renters, people will come in, the first question they ask is, do you rent motorhomes? And we'll say, yes we do. And they will start saying, we've never been in one, we've never used one, but we'd like the experience. And that's when I take them right through and show them all the different units and see what they would be comfortable in if it's going to be the right size, how much room they want, um, and the price, of course, too, the cost of it, and make sure it's in their ballpark. And if you feel a little intimidated about driving an RV, Sherry says that's normal. When they come in, they are very intimidated by the, the size of the vehicles. But then they start with the small ones, and they say, no, too small. Then they, they ease their way up until they get to one that's going to be just right and we also will take them for a test drive. If it's a definite that they want to book it um, and it's a dry day, the roads are dry, we will throw a plate on and the deal plate on, take them for, for a test drive up on the highway, through some back roads in town, make sure they're comfortable on both aspects and when they come back they're either going to say okay this one worked or could we try maybe just one more? We have no problem doing that. We can do one or two to find out if they like the class A or the class C. We, we want to accommodate them to make them comfortable before they even book it to make sure that they have a good trip. Understandably, one of the most common questions is, do I need a special license to drive an RV? A lot of people when they come in, the first question that they ask is, do they need a special license? And all the way up to the 42 footers, you do not need a special license. Um, anybody can drive with a regular driver's license. We have the international drivers come over and they're okay. We take their international license. They're fine over here too. You do not need a special license for any of them. Also, we learned that the minimum age to rent an RV is 25. We'll be right back with Sherry and some other answers on renting an RV right after the break. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. Exploration 
It affirms that we are alive, demands that we are present. So let's put our work lives on pause, ramble out into the world, and share the journey with the ones we love. For more information, visit LanceCamper.com. Welcome back. Let's continue our question and answer session with Sherry Fuller about renting an RV. One question I think most first-time RV renters have is, does my auto insurance cover RV rental? With the insurance, the only way we can actually register these is to activate our insurance. So I can't deactivate our insurance to activate somebody else's unless they actually own the unit. So they do have to take our insurance and there's a clause in all private passenger insurance um, policies that they don't even know about. It excludes motorhomes because they're not a like vehicle. They don't, they're over 10,000 pounds. They have multi wheels, which is six wheels. And um, that excludes them from their, like a rental car. A rental car is normal. These are oversized, so therefore they, they don't include them. I understand that you have special arrangements for folks that live in other parts of the country and want to fly in and rent an RV. Uh, yes, when people, people will call us from all over the country, actually will call us from overseas too. And um, they want to fly in, they want to pick something, they want to take a rental. And we will, we have um, our, we have a 15 passenger van and we have our Chrysler 300. We can pick the people up at the curb, at the airport, they can fly in. We get their, air, their flight information pick them up, bring them out. We show them how to run the motorhome. They can stay here that, that night if they wanted to, if it's a late afternoon and they just don't want to leave. And, um, and then when they come back, we load them back up and bring them back in. So pretty much they can do a one-stop shop with us with everything. Of course, in most cases, people flying in aren't bringing their pots and pans or linens. Is that something your company handles for them? It's funny, with, with people that fly in, some people are very particular, and they want their own sheets and their own towels, so they'll actually pack their own stuff. And then other people will um, just ask for, we call it a housekeeping kit or a utility kit, and we'll supply them with everything from the linens to the kitchen setup, um, everything that they'll need, and they don't have to launder it before they come back. Please do the dishes, though. But they don't have to do the laundry. I take it back I actually do it at my house and I have um, all everything situated so somebody comes in last minute and they want it I can be back in 15 minutes with a complete setup when people come into New England to rent an RV they three quarters of them Bar Harbor Acadia National Park a lot of them end up going up there um, that's the first place is we want to go we want to go to Bar Harbor we want to go to our Acadia National Park. Um, that's not much Canadian-wise. Some of them want to go to Quebec. Um, and a handful will just stay around New Hampshire to go to the White Mountains. But a lot of them, it's Bar Harbor. They don't want to, a lot of them don't want to head down to Cape or places like that. Cape isn't that popular anymore. They want to go north. They want to go north. And even the people that fly, even from Europe, the people from Europe that come over, they want to go to Bar Harbor. Huh. It's cra I don't know. They, there's something about Maine. It's crazy. But that's where three quarters of them go. Okay, we're ready to rent an RV. We've test driven it, but there are still a lot of features and systems to learn about. But don't worry, as Sherry explains. When um, the people come in to take their units um, for the rental, they can either do it prior, a week or two prior to going, or the day of departure. They are t um, given a, at least a one hour to sometimes it's two hours show through on how to run everything. And then they get a three page check sh um, checklist that goes with them that I highlight the important things on it. So if it pertains, if they're trying to do something that pertains to that highlight, at least they know, okay, I've got to do this first before. I do that. And my phone number is highlighted too because we answer the phone 24 7 year round. So if somebody's out there, it's 2 o'clock in the morning and the heater's on but it's blowing cold 
and they're not hooked up at a campground, they're going to, they want to call and find out how to turn the, why is the heat blowing cold? They can call me and I can walk them through how to turn, get to war, blow warm again. So they have a lifeline with me at all times. Well, the only thing left to do is to head up to the office and fill out the rental paperwork and we're ready to start our first RV vacation. Just a word here about RV rental companies. There are a lot of them around the country from large national franchise operations to small regional companies and like any other business, not all are created equal. Do your homework and check them out and make sure they offer 24-7 service before you sign on a dotted line. For more information on Fuller RV Rental, visit our website and click on the Fuller RV link. Coming up after the break, Jeff shows us a safe and easy way to build and maintain a campfire. We'll be right back. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at Jayco.com or just log on to RollingOnTV.com. When you have a Truma Aquago instant hot water system, you can expect to make a lot of new friends. Campfire is a really important, popular part of camping. And most people who are messing around with a campfire and managing it, so to speak, do it pretty much like this. They poke at the wood and they try to push it around and you hope for the best and maybe it'll go where you want it to and maybe it won't. We're trying to build up a bed of coals, do a little cooking here. And it sticks okay, but it doesn't really do the trick. But we have a much more elegant solution available now. This little guy is called the fire stick. Once you have one of these, you'll never do one of these again. Put that where it belongs. Fire stick is made out of stainless steel. It's got a cast aluminum head. And all it's used for is for manipulating the wood in the fire means you don't have to get your face down in there. Here you can just pick it up, place it exactly where you want it. Grab another chunk, put it exactly where you want it, and you stay away from the heat and smoke of the fire. In addition, if you want to get the fire a little bit fired up, there's a hole in the end of the fire stick, and it's hollow. So you Put it down in the fire, blow into it, saves you once again getting down on your hands and knees and getting your face down too close to the fire and singeing your eyebrows off. What a little bit of voice of experience there. And if you don't like it there, you just move it over here, position it. Some people may think this is a little bit, well, a little bit too fussy, but the fact is, it's kind of neat being able to have complete control over your fire. Once again, fire stick, it's made out of stainless steel, cast aluminum parts, comfortable handles, insulated to kind of keep your hands away from the possible heat. It's really a kind of a nifty product. You can learn more about the fire stick by logging onto our website at rollingontv.com. It probably will be the best little addition you'll make to your camping roster in a long time. Hope you enjoyed this week's program. 
And for additional information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional video, stories, and more, visit our website at rollingontv.com. You can also visit us on Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. As usual, this has been another fun production. For the latest up-to-the-minute RV news, visit our media partners at rvbusiness.com.